There's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Oh. Hey, what is up all my social climbing friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. How are you, Nick? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm okay. Mm. I just had a shower. I feel all nice and warm and clean. Finally. What? So glad you took Girl, a shower. you are so shady. The flies outside. So apparently, Jeffree Star has found himself in a little bit of drama. Um, Again. We've seen things like this in the past. For those of you that don't know, uh... It's common for people that are really strange to want to <laughs> invade other people's personal space. <laughs> and now Jeffree Star is saying that people have been coming by his house, taking pictures. Driving the private road. Driving the private road, girl. Have a private road. A whole bunch of different stuff. Jeffree tweeted out about it and he did an Instagram story. We're going to read the tweets for you now, of course. So, Nick. <laughs> Run me that beautiful bean footage. Well, one second. I have to actually search him because I don't follow him. Well, no, I sent you the screenshot. Oh, did you? Okay. I did. Did, oh. did your phone work? Oh, uh, actually, have, I don't know. Did because you have Verizon, <laughs> Verizon out here is not good, y'all. Did you have service, girl? <laughs> okay, Jeffries. <laughs> is my line disconnected? <laughs> now I'm thinking about Kaya. Okay. Let's see. If you live in Wyoming or surrounding states and know where my house is, please stop showing up. Please stop driving by. Please stop taking pictures. Please stop trespassing. Please stop making us feel unsafe. Please stop acting like L.A. Thank you. Then he did do another tweet, which was actually kind of crazy, but read it for me. You know what, though? I agree. If you see me out in town, please say hi and introduce yourself. I take photos with anyone when I'm not at home unless I'm eating with my mouth full. P.S. My neighbor just gave me this sign for my new gate. And the sign says, <laughs> no trespassing. Violators will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. <laughs> and I agree. I mean, uh, I agree, too. I agree. You don't go into somebody's domicile. You know, Jacqueline, I don't think it was last year. It was probably in 2019. She did an Instagram story where she was complaining about people coming up to her at a restaurant. And it's always right when she's, like, putting the food into her mouth. Yeah. And it's like, that's rude. You're invading yeah. someone's personal space while they're at dinner with their friends or their family. It's like, mm -hmm. wait till after. Yeah, no, it's just very creepy. But Jeffrey did go on to do an Instagram story. It's fairly long for those of you that don't use Instagram or Snapchat. Uh, I'll put that in here for you guys to see. And then we'll be back with more commentary hello everybody how are we doing um i never thought that i would come on here and have to make an announcement like this but um i feel like some of my friends back home in la when they come on here and they are simply saying please stop coming to my house i never thought i would have to make this statement in the least populated state in america but if you live in wyoming even if you don't live in Wyoming and you live in the nearby states, you know where I live. Please, I'm asking nicely, please stop showing up. Please stop driving by. Please stop taking pictures. Um, I've already had a few very scary uh, problems and issues with people in this town. Now, everyone has been really great. I fucking love Casper, but there's been a few bad seeds and I already have a stalking protection order a stalking protection order. Like, hello, I just moved here. It's so crazy. Um, and it's been a little jarring. So we all know, almost two weeks ago, I got in a very horrific accident. I'm still wearing this bullshit because my spine is healing. Um, so if you want to meet me and you see me in town, please ask me for a photo. But if you know where I live, please stop coming here. I don't know what the purpose is. Um, this is my home, my safety. People go, don't bring cattle to Wyoming, bitch, if you show up to someone's house uninvited and you're trespassing on a private road, that's LA. That's creepy. That's weird, like LA tours behavior. Um, and I just don't get it. So please stop coming here. I have security guards at work, here, um, which I'm not, I'm not going to show them on camera. I'm sure a lot of you that live in town have seen them. They have hot beards, <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to make funny because I'm actually scared. So I always turn everything into humor, but I'm scared. I already have full protection, so I'm not scared of my life. Like, I literally just survived a car crash with my best friend. I don't know what people want to see. You want to see me outside doing, like, I don't know, nature walks with my dogs? Like, <laughs> I have security guards that are, of course, armed. We live in Wyoming. Y'all know this is the gun state. I have over 50 cameras on my over 500 acres of property. We had motion sensors. When people even come a mile close to my house, I know. So it's so weird um, and I don't get it. So 
I'm building a fortress out here and soon that will not be uh, able to happen. You won't be able to drive by my house. But for right now, you guys, no one wants to feel unsafe in their own home or weird or creeped out by people. So relax, please relax. Not to keep going on about this, but something really crazy happened the other day and I promised myself I wasn't gonna talk about it. But now that this keeps happening, I was leaving for a doctor's appointment the other day and I was on the road that I crashed on. And I'm leaving my house and a half a mile down the road, there's ambulances, there's sirens, there's police. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? My road is very, it's very uncommon. Not, it's not busy at all. There's never traffic. There's one or two people on it, uh, at a time when I'm on it. So to see that uh, type of police activity was very jarring. So we're, the road is closed. So me, my assistant and my security guard, we pull up to it, okay? And the police stop us. So long story short, we look a little bit ahead and there's one car, the tires are gone and there's an accident. And this was days ago. And I was like so horrified because I've never seen an accident on the road minus mine. Um, and it was just very weird. So the sheriff's comes up to the window and I go, oh, hey, it's me, the survivor. Um, I was trying to make a joke of it because one of them was on the scene for my accident. And we rolled down the window and he goes, he like turned white kind of when he saw me and I go, what's wrong? And he goes, um, someone was tuning their tires and their, the bolts let, let out and their tires went out of the car. And I was like, oh my God. And he asked them, what were you doing out here? And while they're in the, on the gurney in the ambulance, they go, oh, we were here to try to find Jeffree Star. <laughs> I don't think there's a moral to the story and I don't know why that happened or why that was their fate and I pray that they're okay, but it's scary to hear that. That's because you don't know, well, what if they were coming to harm me? Yes, I have a lot of fans and amazing customers and admirers, but there's also a lot of people that are very anti-me. They're anti-people that look like me. Um, not in the state, I'm not saying Wyoming, but I'm saying in general, right? And you never know what people's intentions are. And it's just, it was just all too much. And it's been a very long week and a <laughs> very long two weeks. So I'm just trying to heal. I'm not trying to have a meet and greet out here. I will have a lot of amazing events coming soon, which y'all know, listen, when COVID starts slowing down, we can all have really fun events again. Bitch, I'm gonna throw a fucking ball in Wyoming. But for now, let me rest. Let me just be in silence. Don't, isn't that why everyone lives here? To be left alone? Because that's why I moved here. <laughs> um, and I moved here to stare at the nature and just be with peace. So thank you guys for listening to the Jeffree Star TED Talk. Have a beautiful day. This whole thing is just like very creepy to me. Like you don't go to someone's house, like especially like if you don't know them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it is giving me very much like L.A. tours where they'll drive the buses oh by God. people's houses and stuff. We've seen this happen with David Dobrik in the past. We've seen it happen with James Charles. We've seen it happen with a bunch of different people. And I think that people's <laughs> personal space should be respected. Didn't James say that people were like hiding behind his trash cans? I don't know. Girl. It was something crazy. Like people were hiding behind his trash cans. It is a huge invasion of privacy. You don't want somebody that you don't know pulling up to your house. Yeah, no. You don't. You, like that. that is a very dangerous situation because somebody could get hurt give people <laughs> the same kind of respect that you would want in return when it comes to your personal space well i don't it's weird to me because some people like jeffrey like online he's a star right mm -hmm. and when he's not online that's his private business and like literally that goes for anybody that is a public figure like you want to be left alone you know what i'm saying that would be like somebody coming to our house don't come to my house don't ride by my house don't take pictures of my house and you know what's weird is it's not even that they are just driving past his house he literally said they are on his private road yeah that means that you have to make a turn and get to wherever you're trying to go i hope that he puts up like a gate a wall i don't know what he's gonna do like if you have to go out of your way like into a desolate area to where someone lives to like like, I don't understand people's joys in that. Like, that's creepy. Well, he did say that this is something that he would, like, expect from L.A. And he didn't think he would ever have to make this kind of video message living in Casper, Wyoming. Yeah. But to me, that's why people are doing it more so there is because now the big star is in town and they want to come and they want to get a picture, like, with his mailbox or something. Mm -hmm. So it's exciting for them because I can imagine that not that much exciting stuff happens <laughs> out there as well, he, it does like in la he did say that he had to get a, a restraining order a, a so, restraining I mean, order yeah i don't know uh but then the whole thing with the wreck and the person saying that they were going to jeffree star's house 
Yeah, he said that. That's weird to me. Yeah, they were on their way to go find Jeffree Star, and they ended up getting into a wreck or something popped off their tire. Yeah, that's 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 crazy. crazy. But you guys, please let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down below. I do think that everybody's personal space should be respected, regardless if you like them or not. You know what I'm saying? Because and stop it, going to random people's houses. Yeah, it can cause a safety issue for many different reasons. Creepy. But you guys, I hope you all have the most amazing day ever, and I'll see you all in my next video. Man. Bye, guys. Bye.